this is Quint Lears with NewHomesales.com. I've got the privilege of speaking with Jamie Latta with New Group Public Relations Marketing. By the way, fantastic. We, we just had her um, at the Stump the Chump. Let me share some with you. She's no chump. She stomped, <laughs> she stomped some people. So um, uh, thank you so much for being here. So, sure. so, so we still have to do social media. More than ever. I don't know why you wouldn't. I think um, it's sort of like television in the 1960s. When you think about the amount of time that people are on social media, it's where people are, it's how you can reach them, and it's a really exciting way and methods that you can reach them because you're speaking with them, and you can actually tailor your content to what they want to hear. So it's it's a much different model, but it's much more exact. I, being in the business, I know there's just a lot of fear because it's like, oh, I'm putting myself out there. Mm -hmm. What if people talk bad about me? What if I get a negative review? What would you say to that? Well, during our, our presentation today, we talked about information and experience and dealing with people. And I would say that if you're in sales, you're not afraid of dealing with people in the first place. And that's all social media is. So if you stop taking the focus of you and start putting it on them and you try and be informative and you try and be useful, then that takes a lot of the self-consciousness out of it. Because if you are doing it for someone else, you tend to do a better job. And when you, what you respond to on social media, and you're like, oh my gosh, that's funny or that's cool or I really needed to know that, you have to start thinking of, in a very organic, authentic way. And that's, that's really, it should change your mindset. And I know that people don't want to put themselves out there and they're afraid of saying the wrong thing or doing the wrong thing. Well, you're going to make a mistake. I make mistakes all the time. You can delete it, you can correct it, you can apologize. So I would say stop stop leading with fear and start leading with trying to inform people and give them what they need in order to to get the information they want. Wait a second, let me see if I understand. You're saying it's okay not to be perfect. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah, it's absolutely okay not to be perfect because gone are the days um, when you can't correct yourself. It's not you're not spending five million dollars on an ad and then having it be out there and be oops. Now when I say not to be perfect, you always want to be aware. You know, you always hear those stories about how people say something that is inadvertently racist, or they give information like they jump the gun and say that somebody is dead, or they trying to join a conversation, they really have no idea what that conversation is about. Do they just want to join the zeitgeist? So I would say be smart and be thoughtful, but understand that it's very easy to edit these things, and it's very easy to go back and apologize, and it's very easy to be like, oh, I'm sorry, you're right. I mean, there's a lot, it's like you're dealing with people, and you have that person in the room who's always right, and always makes a big deal, nobody likes them. And so what you have to remember is that you're dealing with humans, and people like that. People like when you show humor and personality, or when there's, there's feeling behind it, and that's really what social media is all about, the type I, of content. I love that answer. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the question. The biggest mistake, I mean, new people getting into it, what's mm -hmm. this, and I'm gonna try and stump her here, let's check this <laughs> out, okay? What's the biggest mistake that you see, and what would you suggest to not do in this book? getting into social media, go for it. I would say thinking that you know all the answers. Um, one of the things that I love about the world that we live in is that my mind is constantly being changed because I can think that this is what people will respond to and they don't. And the data that we get these days will tell you exactly what they're responding to, who it is, they're, you know, who they are as people, where they are coming from. And so you can go into a situation thinking that you know everything and you can come out of it and be like, oh, well, I was wrong. But the beauty of that is, in being wrong, is that you get information that allows you to be successful. So instead of just sticking to your guns and being like, I'm so right, you can actually be like, oh, you have to be able to pivot and you have to use that information out there to, the, to drive your content, to drive your message, to drive how you speak with people. So it's, it's exciting and it's, it's a different world because in the past people always wanted to be, got their power from being right. And I like to say turn that around and get your power from being wrong. Jamie is impossible to stump. This thing is unbelievable. <laughs> now, congratulations on your new title. Um, th it's big. Tell me about that. Um, well, it's just, you know, I like to think of my job. Like when we watch Mad Men, I watch Mad Men with my husband. And you watch the guy who started the television department and how everybody thinks it's a joke. <laughs> 
And then eventually, Harry, who started the television department, becomes the most important person in the ad agency. And um, it's just, it's where people are going, it's where they're getting their information. And being a part of that, and being able to understand that, to work with their digital department and the social media department, because it's all intertwined, and to have a team that really understands that, and a PR team that really understands that it's all the same thing, I think that that's exciting because it makes us different because we understand there's no separation. Yep. Fantastic. How do I contact you <laughs> for the audience? What would you say? Um, go ahead and go to our website. It's newgroundco.com. Um, that's easy to remember. Or you can email me at jlatta at newgroundco.com. Fantastic. Thanks again. This sure. is Quit Lears My with newhomesales.com.